Hello and welcome to Tuts Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In this video, I'm going to review Live Surface Context, which is an application and a content library that pairs with Adobe Illustrator and it allows you to see your Illustrator concepts in photorealistic detail with a single click while you work. So uh, let me show you just here a quick example before I dive deeper into uh, explaining how it all works. Uh, here I have an example of a um, label for a beer bottle. And here on the left I have the 3D visual, which is coming from the context application. So if I make any changes here in uh, Illustrator, like turn this label a little bit to the left, and then I click on apply artwork, we will see it immediately updates there on the left. So let me just undo these steps and maybe just move the signage down or may make it a bit smaller. Once I apply it, again, it will update straight away on my 3D visual. And this is just one of the many features that Context comes with. So let me start from the beginning and show you how the application looks like. So I'm just going to close this surface and I come back to the live surface Context application. The only thing that might be a little bit uh, disappointing is that it's only available on Mac. So there's no PC version yet available. But for Mac users, it's great news that you can actually try out the application um, without uh, paying anything. I show you the options for the um, activations. So you can have the free one month trial pass, which comes with seven high res surfaces that you can try. It's completely free. Then you have the monthly subscription, which is at the moment $9, and um, it has all the surfaces available on the uh, Surface Store. And then you have also the yearly subscription option. Now, if you are interested to try it out, this is the website where you can find and download the application. So livesurface.com. And there's also a really cool video which shows how designers use this in their own workflow. But let me show you how I use it and uh, how I started to incorporate it into my graphic design workflow. So first of all, what you need to do is to create a project. So here on the left, you have the uh, My Projects area. And uh, if I want to create a new project, I just simply need to click on this option here, New Project. Then I can give this project a name or I can also give it a name later once I decided what this project is going to be about. So to be able to add surfaces uh, to this, which is uh, the way the live surface calls the uh, visuals. So these surfaces are in the surface store. So once I click on here, I can see all of these and I can change the option from sort category um, to name. And I can also change whether I want to see the names of these uh, surfaces or I want to just see their images. Now these purple highlighted uh, surfaces are the ones that you can download for free. So these are all available in the trial mode. And uh, if you pay for it, then you get all the others as well and everything in high resolution. So you can download everything in very good quality. Now let's just download something simple now. So I want to put this into my project. All I need to do is to drag this onto the project that I just created. And if I click on there, I can see it's automatically downloading it now. And I can give this project a name. I'm just going to call it uh, branding. So that's my new project. And I have this surface downloaded. So now what I can do with it is I can either edit it or export it. Um, we don't have any artwork on it yet, so I'm going to click on Edit. Once I click on Edit, I get this little window. And also in Illustrator, I have the uh, artboard, which I can be used to update the artwork on this image or surface. So now what I can do is using the Live Surface panel, which comes once you install the application and you can find it under the window menu. So there you can find the uh, live surface panel. So I can start using this and uh, I can start putting in elements in this uh, design. So I'm going to use this logo. I'm just going to select it and copy place into uh, this artboard, which is connected to the live surface. So I'm just going to place it there and then I'm going to click on Apply Artwork. 
we have a keyboard shortcut for it as well as you can see it's command E so I'm going to click on this so as you can see it already comes up in the live view and we can see how it looks and if I move the logo a little bit to the left or maybe I make it a bit smaller just to see how it looks then and then I apply the artwork again it will immediately update if you don't see the live view you can always click on the live view button here so that's this little window here on the left on which I can see how it looks on my uh, image and this window can be easily uh, resized so if I want to see a bigger view of it or if I have a secondary screen I can always put it there as well so now that we saw how to start this project let's see what else can we do with it what the best thing to do is to save this uh, surface so you can always save the illustrator file itself and then you can keep it in a project folder but you don't necessarily need to do that because even if I just close this and I uh, close the live uh, view as well I come back to the live surface context uh, application and here I will always be able to access the file itself so if I double click on this and I click on edit it will open up the illustrator file straight away so even if I don't save the file separately it will still be available from the live surface application and if I go back to live surface I can also choose the other option I can choose export so if I click on that it will be exported in a high res tiff onto my desktop so it's already created there and I can have a look at it so that's great but what else can we do of course there are more surfaces so we can try playing around with those so if I come to the surface store you can see we have a lot of other uh, images here that we can add artwork to and I would like to try one of these here maybe this banner again with the branding and I'm going to use the same logo on it but I'm going to also use uh, colors on this one so I'm just going to wait until it uh, downloads from the surface store and then I'm just going to click on edit and it's going to create a new document which will show up in Illustrator so we already have the place for the artwork here and I'm just going to place the same logo in once again but now I'm going to also use colors in the background so I'm going to fill in this part here just going to quickly make a rectangle and I'm going to fill this in with uh, blue let's just select the blue color and I'm going to move this back to the background so arrange send to back and there's my artwork let me make this a little bit bigger position it somewhere here in the middle and then apply it to the uh, live surface so we can see it's already there and then we can quickly duplicate this and just create different versions of it three different colors which we can present already to our uh, customer our client and they can decide which one is the best color to use so we will select two different colors apply to artwork and it's already there of course we can also change the colors of our artwork like using the recolor artwork option in which I have to just click on this arrow and then change the color here so I just need to make sure I have all the colors set to zero and K to uh, zero as well and then I click on OK so it's already updated that graphic once again all I need to do is apply the artwork and it will show up once again in my surface on the left once again let's just go back to live surface I'm just going to close this so we have already two uh, surfaces in this project I'm just going to use another one a book cover so let me just find a book cover and um, another way to quickly find things is to search by categories so we have outdoor packaging people print stationery so if I click on print that will make it easier to find the book covers and I would like to use this one here so I'm just going to drag and drop it into branding again and I just go there and I wait till it downloads and then I'm going to edit it in Illustrator and uh, once again it creates a new document and once it's created I can place in uh, the logo so let's just see which part is the one that we have to work with I just zoom a little bit closer and here it says that's the cover and spine and this is the back cover and the back flap so that's something we don't need at this moment I'm just going to use the main cover 
So there's our logo and I'm just going to apply it to the artwork so we can have a look at it. Okay, that looks good. But what I would like to do is to show you how it nicely wraps around this uh, visual when I have it near the spine or overlapping the spine as well. So if I apply it, you can see how nicely it follows the shape of the book. Now, what I would like to also show you is another really cool feature called Live Inks. So if I would like to have this logo embossed, for example, I can use the Live Inks option. Again, from the context link panel, I can choose from these options and I can find the blind emboss, which I can just simply select from here and it will be added immediately to this watches panel. So while I have this uh, image selected or this uh, logo selected, I can click on the swatch and then apply to artwork and let's see how it updates. Now if we zoom closer, you will be able to see it has that nice uh, emboss effect already. And there's more options. Once you created an artwork like this, you can also use the adjust options. So here in live view, we have the adjust option. And then on the top, we can see we have a couple of options. First of all, we can change the color of the book. So that's already a really neat feature. We can just customize the color to any uh, detail that we would like to have. I'm just going to use this nice orange color. And then there's the live ink that we added, the blind emboss, which we can change its attributes. So there's a couple of attributes like ink lighting and then the bump. So we can, for example, increase the uh, strength of the bump and then it will re-render it. But what if I change my mind and I don't want to use the emboss option? I can always use uh, other live inks as well. So let me just make this window a little bit smaller for now and I'm just going to move it uh, on the side so we will be able to see it still but here in the uh, artwork itself I'm going to select this choose add live inks and I'm going to use the chrome foil so I'm going to click on that once again that's added to my swatches then all I need to do is just click on it to apply it to my artwork and now I can apply the artwork and see it in live view and as you can see, it already has that nice metallic effect. So if I just zoom out a bit and uh, move it around here in my artwork as well. So let me just move it to the left. Again, wrap around the spine area. Then once again, we can see how it looks once it's rendered. But to review these livings, I would like to show you another really cool feature. And that's called the plus surfaces. So if I go back to Surface Store, I can show you that we have the plus surfaces. So there's this box and the book as well. And I'm going to use this uh, box. So I just drag and drop it into branding. Once again, I will have to wait for it to download. But because I already used it in another project, I will be able to use it straight away. So in case of uh, this plus surface, I will have even more options how uh, to work with the artwork. So I can again place the artwork in and I can again add the live inks. So I'm going to use in this case another one. I'm going to use the gold foil. So I add that and then I apply it to my artwork and then see how it looks on my uh, product, on my visual. And what I can do with these is that once I click on adjust, because it is a um, plus surface, I can even rotate this object around. So by clicking on object rotation, I can click on the product and rotate it around. And now you can see that nice gold effect. So let me just zoom a little bit closer. That's probably a bit too much. So I can rotate it around. By right clicking on it, I can drag the object up and down. And by just clicking on it, I can rotate it. But what's even cooler than that is that we can even change the size of this box. So if we want to make it a bit more taller, for example, I can click on the size and I can increase the height to, let's say, 15 inches. And then I click on OK and it will be re-rendered. 
So in these cases, it's better to close the uh, Illustrator artboard because then it will stretch the artwork itself. So it's always better to close that first and only then change the attributes here in uh, Live View. And that's all I wanted to show you about Live Surface Context. I think it's a really cool application, a great way to quickly turn your artwork into visuals and impress your clients. If you want to try it out, the link is below. So good luck with it and thanks a lot for your attention.